Hello, good evening, Noemi. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. I'm so tired, Miss. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, so your day was tiring. Yes, very, okay. very hard. Very tiring. Yes, very difficult. Yes. Okay, so um, let's see. Well, we are going to start with today's class. Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay. All right, so let's see. Uh, so we are going to start with the warm up, then we are going to move to vocabulary. We have grammar, and we are going to end with this topic, uh, which is would like or would like to. We have a lot of speaking today, and we have the wrap up, the end of the class. We are going to wait for the other ones to join. Okay, vamos a esperar un ratito para que los demás también se incorporen. But first, we are going to start talking about technical vocabulary. Yes? Okay, miss. All right. So, let's see. Good evening, Rosibel. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm tired, teacher. Oh, my God. All of you are tired, okay? I'm tired, teacher. I... I uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Me duelen los pies. My, I have foot. my feet hurt. My feet hurt. <laughs> my, okay. My feet hurt. Okay. Uh, and you, Maribel? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Mm, oh, so so. So so, okay, all right. So then uh, we are going to start with vocabulary, okay? We are going to start with okay. vocabulary. And okay, so we have a couple of um, different objects right here. As you can see, we have different images. Yeah, so we have from one to eight. What do you think number one is? What do you think number cable. one is? It's a? A cable. A cable. Okay, very good. So it is a cable. What about number two? What do you think number two is? It is a fan. It is a fan. Okay. And what is the meaning of fan? What is the meaning of fan? Ventilador. Ventilador. Okay. So this one is a fan. Un ventilador. Number three. What is this? A keyboard. Keyboard. Yes, it is a keyboard. Yes, it is a keyboard, okay? And number four? What is number four? Electric, electric socket. socket. Yes, so it is going to be an electric socket. And what is an electric socket? Un enchufe. Is, yes, it is un enchufe, okay? It's un enchufe the electric socket what about number five what is number five a motherboard motherboard yes, it's a motherboard very good so it is a motherboard yeah a motherboard una tarjeta madre okay what about number six the screen it is a screen yes okay it is a screen how do you say pantalla in english Donde se está viendo screen. Clase? Is good great. evening. Good evening, Marlon. Very good. I'm so, driving, teacher. Okay, Marlon, got it. All right, guys. So, a screen, yes. A screen, una pantalla, yes. Number seven. What is number seven? A router. Thank you. It is a router. It's the one that we use to get the internet access. We use a router at home, yeah. A router, very good. And number eight? A battery. A battery, yes, that is correct. So, a battery. Right. Okay, very good. All right, so um, let me see, Noemi, can you please help us pronouncing all of them? Sería a cable, a fan, a cable, Mm -hmm. Electric socket, a motherboard, a screen, a router, 
a button. A button. Yes. A button. Okay, very good. So we have a cable, a fan, a keyboard, an electric socket. We also have a motherboard, a screen, a router, and a battery. Okay, very good. So then let's keep moving. Let me go ahead and erase this. Um, yes. Okay, let's move. All right, so we have different problems and we also have solutions, okay? So let's see. The problem, the first one is, there is a virus. What is the solution for that problem? If there is a virus, what do you think a solution can be? Letter take A. It to a repair shop. Okay, take it to a repair shop. Okay, let's put it, let's put that one. Take it to a repair shop. Or reinstall your op operating system. Okay. I think that that one is more accurate, right? Reinstall your operating system. What about number two? If the internet is down. Reset your router. router. Very good. So we need to reset your router. Yeah, you need to reset it. Yeah. What about if the computer has crashed? Reboot your Reboot computer. Your computer. Excellent. Reboot your computer, teacher. And what is reboot? What is the meaning of reboot, guys? Do you know? Reboot. Yes. Correct. Yes. Exactly. So reboot. Comprar una nueva, entonces. <laughs> okay. No. So reboot, guys, means reiniciarla. Reiniciarla. Es lo mismo que. Um, Reset. Es casi similar a este verbo. Reset and reboot son sinónimos. Okay? De reiniciar. What about number four? The screen is broken. Take it to a repair shop. Take it to a repair shop. Very good. So if your computer is broken, if the screen is broken, es que está quebrada. Yes? So the screen Acuérdese la pantalla. The screen is broken. So we need to take it to a repair shop. What about number five? The tablet is bleeping. Bleeping. El bleeping, ¿qué es bleeping? Any idea? Bleeping? No? Como pispileando, no sé. No. Yes, es, yes. Uh, you know, the bleeping es como cuando usted ve en su computadora que a veces la lucecita se enciende, se apaga, se enciende, como pispileando, yes. Okay. So, the tablet is bleeping, all right? Or, well, sometimes in the computer you get a message, right? You get a message that says that you need to connect your, your computer, the charger to the computer, right? So, but the tablet sometimes is bleeping. Right. So if the tablet is bleeping, we need to recharge the battery or connect it to a electric socket. All right. To an electric socket. What is the meaning of electric socket? What is the meaning of chufe. this? Yes, and chufe. All right. And chufe. Very good. Guys, if you want to say, eh, se me cayó el internet, porque así decimos, ¿verdad? Se me cayó el internet, se me fue el internet. So, that phrase is, the internet is down. Or, what is another way to say that the internet is down, guys? What is another way? The internet is lost. The internet... The connection is, is lost. The connection is lost. Very good. The connection is lost. Yes. Another way? ¿Alguna otra manera de decir que usted no tiene internet? It's off. My internet is off. Ok. Could be. Puede ser. ¿Qué más? Ok. 
For example, the easiest one is I don't have internet access. No tengo internet. I don't have internet access. Yes, or the internet is down or the connection is lost or um, my internet is off. Mm, no, because es como que se ha apagado. En el sentir que está apagado el, el, el router. Pero eh, en sí la conexión se ha perdido. Entonces las um, ideas más claras son como the internet is down. I don't have internet access. The connection is lost, etc. Okay. So let's move. All right. So now we are going to start building vocabulary, guys. What is the meaning of build? What is the meaning of this verb? When we say construir. Build, construir. All right. So if you see this verb, build means construir. Okay. This one, build. Use this one is construir. But building is in ing, all right? So it's an action that we are going to do right now. Building vocabulary. So we have ways to report a problem, okay? We have ways to report a problem and we also have common issues to report. Um, let's see, Rosibel, help us reading the ways to report a problem. And Maribel, common issues to report. Okay. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. Mm -hmm. I have I have trouble with with. Yo tengo que decirlo, dice. Oh no, no. Just I have trouble with. As I say. I I have trouble with. Excellent, Maribel. I don't know seeing the word. Mm -hmm. My strange funny noise is those no turn on. Thank you. All right. So ways to report a problem. Okay. So whenever you have problems at the office with your equipment. All right. So you, you can say, hey, I would like to report a problem when you call the IT or the technician. Right. So. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. Yes, or I have trouble with. Mire, tengo problemas con. I have trouble with. For example, tengo problemas con mi computadora. I have trouble with my computer. Yeah. Quiero reportar un inconveniente. I would like to report an issue. Quiero reportar o me gustaría reportar un inconveniente. En ese caso podríamos interpretarlo como problema. Ok. Quiero o me gustaría reportar un problema. I would like to report a problem. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. So it doesn't seem to work or it does not seem to work. Es como decir, parece que no funciona. Uh -huh. Si queremos decir, mi computador, parece que mi computadora no funciona. Parece que no sirve. Ok, so we can say, my computer does not seem to work. My computer, my computer is going to be the subject. So we remove it. My computer does not seem to work. And why? What's happening? Oh, it makes a strange noise. Hace un sonido extraño, strange. Extraño. Funny. So it makes a funny noise. Un sonido bien gracioso. Un funny noise. All right. Or my computer does not turn on. Mi computadora no enciende. My computer doesn't turn on. Okay. All right. So now, do you have any question about these guys? For example, if you want to say, um, la fotocopiadora no sirve. How can you say that?
how can you say that la, la fotocopiadora no sirve? Uh -huh. Any idea? ¿Alguna idea? ¿La fotocopiadora no sirve? ¿No funciona? Uh -huh. Doesn't on. Doesn't on. Ok. Okay, so how do you so how do you say photocopiadora, guys? Photocopier. Photocopier. Very good. Photocopier. Okay, so the photocopier doesn't work. Okay. Recuerde que, por ejemplo, si quiere decir que la computadora no funciona, mi, my computer. doesn't work. Yes. El doesn't work es no funciona. Y aquí usted le agrega el objeto. For example, my computer doesn't work. The photocopier doesn't work. No sirve, no funciona. Uh, my telephone doesn't work. Uh, my internet connection doesn't work. Um, what else? Um, the coffee maker doesn't work. Yes, etc. El doesn't work es que no sirve, no funciona. Now, if you want to say que no enciende, es el turn on. Okay, for example, my computer, entonces aquí le vamos a cambiar. So we need to change. My computer doesn't turn on. Yes. So my computer doesn't turn on. My photocopier doesn't turn on. My cell phone doesn't turn on. My telephone doesn't turn on, etc. Yes? So esto es no, uh, que no enciende y esto es que no funciona, que no sirve. Okay. Um, okay, Kevin. So now, if I want to say, guys, si yo quiero decir entonces que que Excel no funciona si usted quiere decir Excel no funciona ¿cómo lo va a decir? Ajá. Excel, el programa Excel si usted quiere decir que no funciona Excel doesn't work Yes, Excel doesn't work. Yes, so simple. See that? Yeah? Yes, you can say Excel, como con una um, E al principio, Excel, Excel. Excel doesn't work. Or Gmail doesn't work. A veces el correo electrónico se va también, ¿verdad? O sea, no funciona. Gmail doesn't work. Google Drive doesn't work. And whatever program you would like to say that doesn't work. Okay. Doesn't work. Uh, cualquier maquinaria que no funcione doesn't work. Okay. So those are ways to report a problem. Son maneras de reportar problema. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue I have trouble with. Yes? Don't forget about that. Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt right now? Okay. No? Okay. So now let's see. I need uh, two volunteers. One is going to be letter A and the other one is going to be letter B. Thank you, Carlos Vega, you are letter A, and please, no. uh, Janeth, you are letter B. Okay. I would like oh. to report a problem with my computer. Tell me, how can I help you? 
my computer doesn't turn on. I'm sorry, you hear that. Can you check if the cable are like plug, plug in? Plug in? Yes, they are. Can you check if the battery in PPO have a green light? The battery has a green light, but uh, the CP speed does it, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Oh, yes, CPU. CPU, CPU doesn't. Okay, we'll send a tec technician. Technician. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. So this role play is just for you to uh, to check, to see how it's a conversation with the uh, tech support department. For example, hello, I would like to report a problem with my computer. Yeah, mire, usted dice problema con que está teniendo problemas. Yes, I would like to report a problem with my computer. Yes, then tell me. How can I help you? My computer doesn't turn on. ¿No entiende? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Lamento escuchar eso. Palabras de cortesía. Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. So can you check if the cables are plugged in? Teacher, ¿y qué es plugged in? Yes. Plugged in es que están conectados, que están enchufados al, uh, ¿cómo se decía enchufe? Oh. Ajá. ¿No? Ele electric socket. Yes, electric socket. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm sorry to hear that. Can you check if the cables, the cables, yes, are plugged in? Yes. So, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are plugged in. Si están conectados. So, can you check if the battery and the CPU have a green light? The battery has a green light. Yeah, the battery has. Tiene. The battery has a green light, but the CPU doesn't. Yeah, okay. We will send a technician. Technical, technician. Thank you so much. Yeah. Do you have any question about vocabulary? Any doubt? Not right now? Okay. So now is going to be your turn because you need to create a role play. Tiene que crear un role play así como este. Lo va a crear, pero va a ser de uno de esos problemas. Choose one problem at your office. Un problema común en su oficina. O un problema que usted haya visto en su oficina con algo del equipo. So, choose one problem at your office or any problem with different equipment. Equipo, miren, equipo, equipment. Pero eso no es equipo de trabajo como de personas. No, eso es equipo... Eh, tangible, lo, 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 las fotocopiadoras, eh, la computadora, la cafetera, the coffee maker, computer, photocopier, the fax machine, if you still use that, um, what else? I mean, the printer, etc. Yes. So, and create a role play with your team. Así como este. Lo mismo va a crear. Nada más que va a ser un problema distinto, ¿ok? So, we have some examples from the book. On the book, we see new software, no internet access, a virus, deleted files, paper stock in printer, the USB ports out of order, que no le funcionan los, los cables, aquí los, los puertos USB, the funny noise in the CPU, and frozen screen. Y tiene que darle, o si no quiere darle una solución en el momento porque no, no sabemos, está bien, ok, no se la dé. Pero si, si la sabe, agréguelo en el roleplay, en su conversación. Ok, agréguelo. 
So we are going to work in pairs. I mean, I'm, I know that some of you cannot participate. So voy a asignar a diferentes personas a la sala para que todas puedan participar, pero solo dos van a, a presentar el role play. Ok, los demás pueden apoyar. Eh, y los que no pueden participar, pues eh, se quedan aquí o se van a, a los salones a escuchar. Pero, pero um, let them know. Háganle saber a su equipo que no puede participar para que no estén esperando que usted participe. Um, okay, here we go. Good evening. Okay, okay, Brian, I will. Let me see. And Brian. Okay, Brian, there you go. That's a teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, uh, for the other ones, I probably are just as a listener. Eh, ahí les, les envío el link para que se puedan, puedan abrir la clase. Eh, let me see. Okay. Parece bien eso. Me va, me va. Sí, sí, podría ser. Uh -huh. La cosa es que lo, lo, no salga. No internet access. Okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Vaya. Ese sería el que, el que vamos a agarrar. Okay. Y empezamos siempre con el hello, ¿verdad? Sí, considero que hasta, sí. Hasta, hasta donde dice el report a problem with my internet. Podría a ser así. Report a problem with, no sé yes. si sería, with, with, uh, with, my yes, access, yes. with my access internet, no sé. Oh, Teacher. with my internet access. With my internet access. Mm -hmm. Internet access. Yes, remember, <clears throat> recuerda que tiene que utilizar I would like to. Esas frases. I would like to report a problem with my internet access. Sí, lo comenzaríamos similar. Hello, I would like to report a problem with my internet access. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Ahora el B sería... <clears throat> Yo lo estoy haciendo sola, teacher, porque creo que aquí no hay nadie. Ok. Eh, ok, eh, déjeme ver. Eh, La voy a mover para otra sala. Okay. Okay. Hello, Odalis. Hello. 
Buenas noches, teacher. ¿Cómo está, Odalis? Bien, bien, mire, ¿y usted? Ah, bien, mire aquí. Eh, ¿Está en su trabajo? Sí, fíjese. Es que ah. como está haciendo turno de noche. Ah, ok, ok, ok. So, no puede participar, ¿verdad? Soy de oyente, nada más. Prácticamente solo de oyente. Ah, vale. Eh, el día de ahora para el feedback no se puede quedar. Feedback. Ajá. Mm, de... Déjame confirmarle. ¿Me confirma? Como a la... Ajá, como a las 9 y 40. Vale, me confirma entonces. Mm. Vale. Vaya, vaya, está bien. Ok. Sí, correcto. Ajá, ahí sería my my intern my internet in doesn't doesn't work. Doesn't work. Esa. Sí, correcto. Ahorita lo pongo. Doesn't work. Uh -huh. Ajá, sería eh, la otra de My Internet Access. access ay, permítame. Doesn't work. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, el otro de, eh. ahí, ahí sería, can you, can you check uh, the connection? Mm -hmm. Can you uh, en el literal B sería de I'm sorry to hear that. Can you can you check the the connection? Can you Are check the, the uh -huh. Can you can you check the connection? Um, no sé cómo se dice. O, oh, ¿cómo se diría? La conexión con el router. Sería router. Can, can you check if your router is on? Or can you check the connection? Um... A router. No. Puede decir, can you check if the router is connected o puede the permitir, router the router uh -huh. or can you check the connection with your router entonces le ponemos can you check the connection with your router the, uh -huh. with, uh -huh. with your router with with, with. yes the with connection. your router with your router. Mm -hmm. With your router. Aquí sería. Okay, siguiente. <clears throat> eh, Se podría decir. Yes, I do. O oh, no. No, ¿verdad? Porque ahí no, no estamos hablando de eso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, sería... Yes, I can. Can you check the connection with your router? Yes, I can. Uh -huh. Y ahora eh, la, otra, la otra persona dice... Eh, do you see the lights... Um, do you see the lights on... Como que le estoy preguntando, ¿ve las luces encendidas? Do you uh -huh. see the lights? The lights on. Oh. Do you see the lights on? Ahí depende. No sé si quiere decir yes, yeah. I do, or yeah. no, I don't. The lights on in, in your router. In your router, okay, si quiere ponerla, yes. Do you see the lights on in your router? In your router? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Y de ahí la resolución, ¿verdad? Que le va a mandar el técnico. Okay, teacher. 
Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ronald. Sí, estoy escribiendo. <risa> estoy escribiendo aquí. Sí, se le quedó. Sí, sí, todas las, todas las ideas las he ido poniendo. Like sí, me quedé. No hay, le, le pondríamos no hay don, ¿verdad? El que no las puede. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. No hay don. No hay don. Ok. Y el B. Ahí sería ok. We, we will send a. Bueno, que técnicos se llaman también los que van a verlo, ¿verdad? A technician. Ajá, ok. Technician. We will send a technician. Technician, es verdad. Yes. Technician. 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 Ok. Y cerramos con thank you so much también. Thank you so okay. much. Ajá. Ok, ¿ready? ¿Listos? Ah, uh, ready. ¿Ready? ¿Roma? Solo que. Eh, yes, eh, le voy a tomar foto a este Rosy y lo pongo ahí en el chat. <ríe> bueno, 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 Ronald. Eh, ahorita le tomo la foto. Ahí ya lo puse. Estamos ready. Okay. Sí. Hoy sí, Ruiz. Voy a dar vuelta porque ya yo ya quitamos que Okay, with the router en lugar de una A, eh, Ronald es una O. Oh. Okay, okay. Ok, pero está bien. Lo demás está súper bien. Okay. Ah, sí, el primero le puse. Yes, ok, el right. El segundo se lo puse. Ajá. All right, let's go to that, to the room, ok? Let's go. Let me, let me stop the, okay. the breaker room. Yes. Ok, so we would like to listen to, uh, let me see if we have Rosibel and Ronald. Do we have Rosibel and Ronald? Well, just Ronald. Let's see, Rosibel. Mm, yes. Okay, so Rosibel and Ronald, go. Okay, teacher. Hey, Ronald. Yes. Hey. Comienzo yo. <laughs> eh, ok, yo soy ya entonces. Eh, hello, I would like to report a problem with my internet access. Tell me, how can I help you? My internet access doesn't work. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you check the connection with your, with your router? Mm -hmm. router? Yes, I can. Do you see the lights on in your router? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay, we will send a technician. Thank you so much. Perfect, okay. Okay, don't worry, Noemi. Excellent, okay, perfect. Uh, Rosibel and Ronald. Okay, let me see somebody else. Uh, Brian? Somebody else? Alguien más que haya completado el, 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 el role play? Janet? Yes, uh, ya lo puse ahí en, en el chat. Lo, okay. Lo voy a leer. Okay. okay. Hello. How would you like to report a problem with my internet? Tell me, how can I help you? I need solution to each situation because I need to work in. I am sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. Can you check the lights of the router? 
Okay, yes, only two lies there intermittent. Okay, we we will send a technician to you home. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, it was good. Okay. Now um observation. Uh what it says, I need a solution to this situation, to this, okay, to this situation because I need to work. Seeing an ING. Okay. And okay. Uh -huh, okay, because I need to work. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then just the pronunciation of router. Router. Okay. The pronunciation. Router. Router. Yes. Router. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody else, Andrea? Teacher, yo no lo terminé. Ah, okay. ah, okay, vaya, está bien, okay, don't worry, all right, so let's see, let's continue, okay, let's continue, so right now, uh, let's move to a review, vaya, ese es un medio repaso de lo que vimos el día de ayer, para ver de qué se recuerda, okay, guys, who can tell us when do we use would like, when do we use would like, cuando lo usamos, ¿Y cómo? ¿Cuáles son las dos estructuras? Si queremos pedir algo, por favor. Ok, por ejemplo. Uh, uh, would do you like uh, a, cup, a cup of coffee? Would you like a cup of coffee? Ok, very good. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, very good. What else? ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Huh? What else do you remember? Mm -hmm. So remember that we can use would like uh, with two, but we need to use a verb. Yes, and we can also use subject would like plus a noun. Yes, for example, I would like French fries. I would like a new book. I would like a new bed, etc. Yes, so right now I'm going to ask you some questions and you need to answer those questions, okay? But now I have added more answers, more possible answers that you can use, ¿ok? Esas son respuestas que usted puede decir, estas de acá. Fíjese bien, el día de ayer solo vimos como dos. No I wouldn't or yes I would. Pero ahora tenemos más respuestas que podemos brindar. So for example, if you say, let's, uh, let's give an example right here. Would you like to go hiking? Would you like to go hiking? Sure. I love to. Claro, me encantaría. Or, yes, I would. Sí, ese es nada como un sí. Yes, please. Ese no es en el contexto de esto. No, porque no es un favor, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes, please. Es en otro contexto. Of course, por supuesto. Would you like to go hiking? ¿Te gustaría ir a, a escalar? Pero en eso es como una caminata. Okay? ¿Te gustaría ir a escalar? ¿Te gustaría ir a caminar en caminata? Okay? Would you like to go hiking? Sure, I love to. Yes, I would. Of course. Sorry, I can't. Lo siento, no puedo. No, I wouldn't. Or sorry, I'm busy. Lo siento, estoy ocupado, ocupada. Esa no thanks and full es cuando le ofrecen algo de comer y usted dice, no, estoy lleno. Gracias. Okay, so, would you like to go to a movie? 
Would you like to go to a movie, Rosibel? Um, sorry, I'm busy. Busy. I'm busy. Busy. Would you like to have lunch, Rosibel? Of course. Okay. Would you like to have dinner, Rosibel? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> okay. Would you like to take a walk, Ronald? Uh, sorry, I can't. Would you like to make a sand castle, Ronald? Of course. Okay. Would you like to go to the park, Janet? Yes. Yes, all right. So would you like to uh would you like to come to my party, eh, Carlos Vega? Yes, I will. Okay. Uh, Brian Alexander, would you like to play video games? Yes. Yes, yes, what? Yes. yes, I would. Yes, please. Yes, of course. Yes, I yes, Commissioner. Yes, I love. Yes, I love too. Yes, uh -huh. Okay, repita después de mí, diga, yes, I love yes. too. I love too. Okay, Brian Alexander, would you like to go shopping? Uh, yes, go shopping. Uh, yes. Yes, I uh, would. Yes. yes, I would. Okay. Uh, Brian Alexander, would you like to play baseball? Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't. Okay. Brian Alexander, would you like to play volleyball? I'm sorry, I can't. Okay, all right. Now uh, you, Rosibel, ask me a question. Ask me a question with those. Would you like, would you like to the park? Would you like go to the park or would you like to go to the park? Would you like to go to the park, teacher? Mm -hmm. Sure, I love to. Again, another one. Otra, Rosibel. Uh, would you like uh, have dinner, teacher? Would you like have dinner or would you like to have dinner? Would you like to have dinner, teacher? Of course. Again, otra, Rosiven. Mm, would you like to go shopping, teacher? Of course. Very good. Thank you. Carlos Vega, ask me one question. Would you like to uh, go to a movie? All right, would you like go to a movie or would you like to go to a movie? Would you like to a movie? To? Go a movie. To go to a movie. To go to a movie. Yes, I would. Another one, Carlos. Uh, would you like to go shopping? Yes, of of course. Very good, Carlos Vega. The last one. One more. Me? Yes. Okay. Would you like 
to play ball, ball, volleyball? Yes, of course. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos Vega. Brian Alexander, ask me a question. What would you like to go to a mall? Uh, sure, I love to. Okay, another one, Brian. ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? Would. Would. Would you like to uh, come to my party? Would you like to come to my party? Yes, please. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Okay, the last one, Brian. The last one. Would you like to come to my pizza party? party? Okay, to, to your pizza party. Sure, I love to. Okay, very good. Excellent. Um, all right, guys. Andrea, ask me a question. Would you like to hang out this weekend? Sure, I love to. Very good. Another one, Andrea. Uh, would, would you like to come to the picnic? Of course. Okay, the last one, Andrea. Would you like to go to the festival? Sure, I love to. Very good. Yes, excellent. Well done. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. Okay, so now let's complete this. Okay, let's complete this. Okay, so we we should decide if it is a question or if it is a sentence. Okay. So tenemos que decidir si son preguntas o son oraciones las que van en los espacios en blanco. Okay. Number one, it says waiter. Hello. ¿Qué sería lo que would, les you, would you like? Would you like a pizza? Very good. Okay. No, thank you. I'm full. No, thank you. Mm, pero mire lo que le decía. I am full. A fish, please. Mm -hmm. I like. I would like. Excellent. I would like or the contraction i like very good waiter would you like would you like perfect would you like french fries too mire las papas fritas se dicen french fries okay french fries delicious right so man no thank you i will like I would like some potatoes, please. Here you are. Aquí tienes. Here you are. Okay. Aquí tienes. Se dice here you are. Here you have. No. Here you are. Aquí tienes. Here you are. Okay. Eh, Carlos Vega, please be the waiter. And uh, let me see, Noemi, the men. Okay. Uh, hello, would you like a pizza? Mm, no, thing. I would like a fish, please. Would you like french fries too? No, thank, no, thank you. I would like some po potatoes, please. Here you are. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. All right. Uh, Rosibel, be the waiter, and Brian, the man. Okay. Hello. Would you like a pizza? Mm, no, thank you. I would like a fish place. 
please. Would you like French fries too? No, th no, thank you. I I would I would like some potato, please. Here you are. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, Andrea, please be the waiter, and Janet, the man. Hello. Would you like a pizza? No, thank you. I would like a fish, please. Would you like fresh fries too? No, thank you. I would like some potatoes, please. Here you are. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, Andrea, repeat after me and say French fries. French fries. French. French fries. French fries. French fries. French fries. Okay, very good. All right, guys, let's keep uh, going, okay? Now, let's make sentences or questions, okay? We need to put the words in order, all right? So, number one, let's see. Let's unscramble this and let's create the question or the sentence. Number one. You, you, you like, like some grapes? We'll grab Okay. Would you, you like, like some grapes? Some grapes. Some grapes. 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 Yeah. Grapes. grapes. And this one is a question. Esa es una pregunta porque si se fija, llevamos un signo de interrogación. Okay. Number two. I like some meat, please. Excellent. I like some meat. Please. Very good. Number three, it's a question. Would you like, would you like, would you like some onions? Some onions. Very good. Would you like some onions, Rosibel? Yes. They. Yes? Yes, they are onions. Oh, no. Would mm. you like, would you yes. like some onions? Mm, yes, please. Okay, very good. Number four. Good. I like, I like ice cream, please. I like, and ice, and ice cream. cream. Mm. I like an ice cream, please, okay? Me gustaría un helado, por favor. Okay? Do you have any doubt? Tiene alguna pregunta? Alguna duda? <coughs> no, right now? Okay, let's move. Teacher? Yes. Cuando no, cuando no usamos las respuestas cortas como el, el yes, I would, oh yes, please. Eh, y sería la, la respuesta larga, siempre tiene que ir el, el would. Y sí, o sea, en ese caso, recuerde que puede decir yes, I would, o puede decir nada más yes. Sí, puede decirlo, no es incorrecto. Pero uh, ya que estamos estudiando como el tema, hay que decirlo como de la manera larga y completa para que usted se memorice que Así es la gramática, ¿verdad? Pero no hay problema si usted solo dice yes or no. ¿Sí? Okay. Pero es importante que sepa identificarlo para si en alguna ocasión en un examen usted tiene ese tipo de respuestas, no le cueste. ¿Sí? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, let's see. Um, what about this one? Would you like put the words in order to make sentences or questions? Okay. Estas son preguntas todas. All right. So, let's see. Number one. Would you like some fish? Would you like <coughs> some fish? Very good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Would you like some fish? Yes. Would you like some fish? 
-hmm. Would you like some bread? bread? Would you like some bread? Bread. bread. Yes. Let me ask you something. Is bread countable or uncountable noun? ¿Es nombre contable o incontable? Bread. Uncountable. 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 But very good. Okay. Today you are going to have a quiz. Van a tener un examen de los contables y no contables en unos minutos. All right. So what about number three? Would you like... Would you would like some pizza? Some like. pizza? Would you like uh would you like some pizza, Brian Alexander? Uh, yes. Yes, of course. I know Saria to eat. Would you like to eat some pizza? Oh, okay. Would you like to eat some pizza? Okay, would you like to eat some pizza? Yes. Yes, I would. Yes, uh, I would love to, of course, right? What about number four, the last one? You would like some fruit? Would you like some fruit? Yes. Would you like some fruit? Very good. Okay. Excellent. Any question, any doubt, preguntas, dudas? Okay. Let's What's the mean bread, teacher? Oh, bread, bread means pan. Bread, like this, bread. No es rodaja, es pan. It's pan, pan. You. Yes, All right, perfect. Okay, so let's see. Let's complete the sentences using the following words, okay? So we have, fíjese bien, tenemos, I would like to go to the, y tenemos los lugares. Me gustaría ir a, y tenemos ocho lugares. Y tenemos otra idea. I would like to see a polar bear. Yes. Me gustaría ver un oso polar. Yes. Sería como los opuestos. Uh, Sería de complementar con el lugar en el cual podemos ver lo que queremos ver aquí, los diferentes nouns. Ejemplo, I would like to go to the polar, polar region. region. To the polar region. Yes, very good. Okay. Number two, I would like to go to the Jungle. To the jungle because I would like to see a parrot. Number three, I would like to go to the river. river. To the river, river or river. ocean. Okay, so I would like to catch a fish. Me gustaría pescar, atrapar. Yes. Number four, I would like to go to the Ocean. To the ocean or to the? Sea. Sí. To the sea, okay? So I would like to go to the sea. I would like to make a sand castle. Un castillo de arena. Sand castle. What about number five? I would like to go to the? Forest. 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 To, the forest. to the mountains, okay? I would like to climb a Three, mire, climb, escalar, un árbol. Number six, I would like to go to the? Ocean. Ocean. O ocean. Ocean, yes. I would like to go to the ocean. I would like to sail a boat. Mm -hmm. And number seven, I would like to go to the? Mountains. The mountains. I would like to see a goat. Yes, and number eight, I would like to go to the? Desert. Desert, yes. I would like to ride a camel. Yes, very good, all right, excellent. Okay, guys, do you have any doubt about would like? Really, Janet, maybe they eat in a connection, tal vez el internet. 
Tal vez se pierde en algún momento. Ok. So, questions, doubts, preguntas, dudas, guys, they would like. No questions, no doubts. No? No. Ok. So, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Voy a pasar la asistencia. Ok. So, here we go. Amanda Yesenia López. Amanda, ok. Andrea Lisbeth Monge. Present. Thank you. Brian Alexandra Monterrosa. Present. Ok. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Vega. Present. Thank you. Dina Maribel Rivas. Yes. Enrique Arturo Enríquez. Present. Janet Amaya de Reyes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Marlene Pérez. Present. Thank you. Joel Alberto Barrera. Yes, Joel is not here. Eh, Juan Carlos Jovel Amaya. Carlos Amaya. Well, I, I... Kevin Adiel Someta. Yes, thank you, Kevin. Luis Ernesto Manzanares. Eh, Luis Giovanni Villa. Mirna Yesenia Jiménez. Mirna. Yes, thank you. Noemí Claribel Méndez. Noemí. Present me. Thank you. Eh, Eunice Álvarez. Present teacher. Yes, okay. Oscar Giovanni Figueroa. Present. Ronald Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Rosibel Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jancy Odalis Rendero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kenny Alexandra Montenegro and Marlon Orlando Calles. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Thank you, yes, Mirna, uh, yes, Maribel and Kevin, yes. Okay, all of you, all right. Okay, guys, so now let's take the quiz, the first quiz, vaya, vamos a tomar el primer examen, que eso es de los contables y los incontables, okay? Contable and uncountable. Um, también es del A y AN, okay? Vaya, uh, Okay, so the link is on the chat. Ya se los mando los de WhatsApp. Espérame. Permítanme. Give me a minute. All right. Uh, the other ones, please open it from the chat here on Zoom. Aquí se los mandé en Zoom. A los que todavía no lo han recibido, aquí está. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, Maribel, tiene problemas con su computadora. Thank you. 
Listo, teacher. <coughs> Okay, let me, let me, Done, me. thank you. Let me verify your scores. Okay, let me verify the score. Let me see. Done, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good, Carlos Vega. Okay, Mirna, excellent. Noemi, perfect. Ronald, excellent. Let me see. Enrique, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, me pregunta, eh, vamos a poner A ah, si es contable o A. No. Va a poner A. Ah? Eh, el A versus AN, si se recuerda que hay una regla para utilizar esos, esos dos artículos. Entonces, okay. ajá. dependiendo de esa regla que usted se recuerde, okay, de haber eh, estudiado antes, y si no se recuerda, recuerde que A se utiliza para, eh, ¿para qué? Para nombres que, que comiencen con qué, con consonante o con vocal. ¿Y AN para qué? ¿Para consonante o vocal? Y después en la segunda parte, sí, Brian, va a poner U si es incontable y sí si es contable. Okay, I got Odalis. Um, okay. Okay, Carlos Amaya, and let me see, Kevin, okay. And let me, let me see, Kevin. Okay, I got Andrea. Okay.
Okay, I got Janice. Perfect. Um, Okay, guys, so we are going to move to the next activity that we have. Okay, so what we are going to do right now is the following, okay? So um, let's see, mm, Andrea, help us reading this invitation. Ayúdenos a leer esa invitación a una fiesta. Bye. Uh, do you are Amy? Would you like to swim, play football, go sailing, and play games? Would you like to eat burgers, cakes, ice cream, strawberries, and grapes? Would you like to come to my party? It's on. It's on Saturday. Saturday on three o'clock at the beach. Can you bring some tomatoes? Uh, apples. Uh, apples. And, uh, apples and cake, cakes. Please come from Tony. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Uh, Andrea, repeat after me and say, cake. Okay. Cake. Cakes. Cakes. Yes. Now come. 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 Okay. All right, guys. This is in general. Okay. This is in general. Remember that cakes uh, is in English, in our Spanish. Nosotros decimos cake. Es cierto. Así decimos, pero en inglés vamos a, vamos a decir cake. Cake or cakes. Okay. No se le olvide eso. Okay, uh, come, 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 come. All right, so as you can see, this is an invitation. Esa es una invitación para una fiesta. Yes, y fíjese bien, hemos utilizado, would you like to swim, play football, go sailing and play games, diferentes actividades. Okay, would you like to eat burgers, cakes, Ice cream, strawberry, and grapes. Food. Would you like to come to my party? ¿Te gustaría venir a mi fiesta? It's on Saturday at 3 o'clock at the beach. Can you bring some tomatoes, apples, and cakes? Puedes traer tomates, manzanas, y pasteles? Can you bring some tomatoes, apples, and cakes? Please come from Tony. Yes. So, ¿qué va a ser? Va a ser una invitación como esta. So, this is the example. Ese es el ejemplo. Este es, mire, básicamente lo que debe de llenar. Lo mismo. Dear, y usted se lo va a dirigir aquí a un compañero de clase. Yes. Lo vamos a hacer en equipos para que tengamos más ideas todos. Ok. So, um, do you have any question? Tiene preguntas. No. Ok. So let's go then and let's move. Um, but this time, lo voy a recrear y lo voy a hacer de tres. Well, no, de cuatro para que no hayan demasiados también.
No, no. Hola. Sí. Ahí está. Ya mandé la foto. Ah, Es que estaba, estaba revisando mi, mi, mi examen, pero es que a mí me salió en español, no sé por qué. Es que a veces como tienen la computadora en español. Ajá, y primera, pero primera vez que me pasa, entonces revisando la respuesta, yo decía, ¿y por qué me salió mal? Porque o sea, había puesto las consonantes y veo que una ya me la traduzco a un y yo le había puesto an. Ajá, entonces yo decía, ¿qué, ¿qué pasó aquí? Por eso me quedé bastante tiempo revisando. Ok, bye. Trabajamos la invitación, chicas. Hola, hola. Sí, sí, sí. Dear, ¿a quién se la dirigimos? Dear. Yo puse a decir a Rosibel. Dear a Rosibel. Sí, ve el video. Dear Rosibel. Okay. Eh, go. Ah, pues la van a, ustedes la van a leer. Would you like. <laughs> To... ¿Usted la va montando, Ronald? Eh, sí. sí. Este, vaya, eh, comenzamos con Would you like. ¿Dónde me quieren invitar? Eh, ajá, sí. eso. <risa> no, voy por no. <risa> ideas, ideas. <risa> A cenar ahorita. <laughs> Do you like dinner? I like a burger. Son dos partes o solo es este, eh, eh, digamos, would you like to swim, play football? Would you like? Aquí hay tres. No sé si siempre se harían tres opciones o solo una. Solo dos o uno. Dos comas. Eh, me invitan ustedes. Would you like a... Play guitar. No. No. <risa> Bueno, yo eso le puse. Ahí se lo va a poner. No, no me gusta. Good. Es, es que entiendo que es como una fiesta la que le estamos invitando, algo así. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces sí. <risa> Es que si no, bueno, tendríamos sí. que poner los que están ahí. Una invitación. Entonces invítenme al Dennis. Le, le, le voy a invitar a que me deposite en mi cuenta bancaria. <risa> ¿A dónde? Ah, 
dónde? Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? Would you like? Would you like to? Like no sé, aquí lo que dicen es que no. No sé si le ponemos Do you like to pool party? Una fiesta de piscina. Sí. Would you like to eat? Yeah. Gonna, eh, yeah. Pero, ¿qué comidas le ponemos? Pupusas, ponemos. Tamales. Yes. <risa> ok. Cuando, cuando no lleva verso, no se le va a poner la, el tú, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero como ahí lo lleva. El de Would You Like Full Party, ¿no? Sí, verdad. Ajá. Pupusas de Jaro y a pupusas. ¿Cómo se dice pupusas en inglés? Pupusas. Pupusas, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a typical dish. Algo típico, no, no podemos traducirlo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, Andrea, pero ¿cómo la va haciendo? Porque, porque don, don Ronald es eh, eh, la, 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 la completa. Don Ronald le va montando encima de la que él ya tiene. Ah, no, no, no. Para hacer una sola. Ajá. Pues yo sí le había dejado el de Would you like to play guitar? Would you like por party sí, ya había puesto la misma casi sí, bueno es que sí creo que en, en la primera son como más actividades verdad entonces no sé ajá. si lo cambiamos ahí ajá entonces si ustedes me dicen unas actividades para poner eh, no, ella, ella le puso play would you like would you like eh, play guitar verdad y otras actividades pero esa sí llevaría el <coughs> Porque ya uh -huh. es el verbo play. Would you like to play guitar? Guitar. Eh, eh, sería. Eh. ¿Qué más hacemos en las fiestas? Eh. Bailar. Bailar. Dance. Dance. Would you like to dance? Would you like, would you like to I sing like. karaoke? Yes. Dancing. Dance and 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 eating and eat pupusas. Después vamos con la familia y aquí hicimos con tres actividades. Like that, like eat pupusas. Ese sería en el primer literal. Las primeras tres actividades y las otras de como de... Sí, no, de comida, yo había puesto pupusas y tamales, que dijo Rosy, y no sé qué más, alguna bebida. Una bebida energizante. Ah, uh, no, I don't drink. Would you I, I drink water. Juice? Would you yo like salgo, juice? Yo salgo Orange juice. Yo salgo barata porque agua tomo. Water. Water. No, pero eso no es permitido en la fiesta. Water. Water. Okay, este, eh. No, es así. Would you like water? Yes, <laughs> yes would you like water? Uh -huh. Yes, of course. Okay. Eh. En la parte de, 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 de la fecha, 
eat some Saturday or uh, 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 Sunday? Ah, Saturday. Saturday. At Alaska. At, at night. At night. Yes. Night o'clock. Si fuera en mi casa sería in my house, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces sería en, así en la suya, en su casa. En your house. ¿Qué fecha le pusieron? On Saturday. Ah, At bueno, night. No, 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 Uh, let me see, Ives. And uh, on your on your paragraph, yes. en su párrafo, Janet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Donde dice, would you like to? Le faltó el to. Ah, okay. Um, would you like to play the piano and play the guitar? Would you like to eat sushi, sandwiches, uh, desserts con doble S? Ah, oh, okay. Desserts. And fruits, would you like to come to my party? It's on Saturday 10th at the Courtyard Mario Hotel. Can you bring can you bring wine? Please come. Perfect. Y ahí todo lo más excelente. Eh, uh, Noemi. Um, dear Janet, would you like to eat fried chicken, drink soda, and play soccer? Okay. Would you like to go to the beach? Perfect. Would you like to come to my party? Very good. It's on Sunday 18th. Ah, vaya. En, would you like, ah, bien, en esa Noemi, donde dice, would you like to come, ok, eh, usted le ha puesto, would you like come to, pero es, would you like to come to my party, le faltó el to antes de come. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá, y donde dice, can you bring your friends, esa tiene que ser una pregunta, entonces no, ah, le puede poner los signos de admiración, pero también el, el signo de interrogación, porque empieza con quién, es una pregunta. Ya y lo demás está bien. Okay. Sí, lo que pasa es que mi celular, es que estoy desconectada del celular y creo que ahí me, se me fue ese signo, pero sí es pregunta. Ah, vale, bueno. ok, perfect. All right, allow me, uh, well, let's go back to the main room, vámonos para la sala principal. Okay, um, let me see, Carlos Vega, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Pero, pero, dígame, dígame. Did you complete the invitation? No, teacher. Okay, don't worry. I, I drive. You are driving, okay. Rona? Uh, can you please read your invitation? Okay, okay. Yes. Now, um, dear Roosevelt, would you like to play guitar, dancing, and karaoke? Would you like to eat pupusas, tamales, and orange juice? Uh, would you like to come to my party mm -hmm. is on Saturday at eight o'clock in my house. Mm -hmm. Can you bring some friends and give? Mm -hmm. Please come from Ronald. Okay, very good. The only observation that I have, Ronald, is where it says, would you like to play uh, guitar, coma, dance, not dancing. Okay. Dance. Dance. Yes. Okay. Um, en, en, en lugar de karaoke, podemos poner en sing, cantar. En sing. Mm -hmm. Ok. So let me see. Uh, Ives, can you please read yours? Ok. 
Entonces, solo voy a corregir donde me había equivocado. El tu... Tu like. play. Yes. Tu play, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So, yeah. Dear Noemi, would you like to play the piano and to play the guitar? Would you like to eat sushi, sandwiches, desserts, and fruits? Would you like to come to my party? If on Saturday 10th at the Kuchar Marriott Hotel, Can you bring wine? Please come from Ives. Very good. The only observation that we didn't actually fix was this one, desserts. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's the only one. Then the other one, uh, the other parts are correct. Very good. Yes. Okay, somebody else that finish your invitation? Alguien más que la finalizó? No? Me? Yes. Go, Noemi. Okay, solo, solo, solo. Um, uh, dear Janet, would you like to eat fried chicken, drink soda, and play soccer? Would you like to go to the beach? Would you like come to come to my party? Mm -hmm. It's on Sunday 18th at 1 p.m. Can you bring your friends? Please come from Noemi. Perfect, okay. Very good, guys. Okay, so I think that right now this topic, it's, uh, um, it is kind of clear. Just don't forget, okay? Que no se olvide, okay? Que básicamente después de like, cuando utilice verbo, siempre va a ir to, ¿verdad? Cuando utilice verbos y cuando utilice los nouns, que son los nombres o sustantivos, no ponemos el tú. ¿Ok? So, para eh, verificar si hemos comprendido hasta aquí la parte de gramática con would like and would like to, vamos a tomar el quiz que es de este tema. Este sí es de este tema. ¿Ok? Eh, ese es el, el link y le voy a mandar el el código, el código de la contraseña es Grammar 2022. Este sí es del, del tema que estamos cubriendo, ¿okay? que hemos visto ayer y ahora. Vale. Eh, ya se le mandó al WhatsApp, a los que tenemos que verlo en el WhatsApp. Deme un segundo. Hola, me voy a sacar. Ok, there you go. Okay.
Don't, teacher. Don't means. Okay, thank you. Let me check. Excellent. Very good. Andrea, excellent, very good. Okay, Carlos Amaya. Okay, Carlos Vega. Ronald, okay. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I go Kevin. Okay, guys, um, one minute, okay? We are going to take the, the listening, the listening quiz. Very good. I got Rosibel. Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got Janet. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. And let's Okay, so we are going to take the listening. Vamos a tomar el listening. 
This one is really simple, okay? It's not difficult. Um, okay, so there you go. So the link and the passcode. In ese momento le envío el WhatsApp. Deme un segundo. Okay. Would you like to? Okay. Would you like to dance? Okay. Okay. Open the, the link for the listening. Abra el link de listening y me dice cuando ya esté listo. Okay. Okay. Me dice cuando ya esté listo. Voy a poner. Okay, Mirna, it's in. Okay. Okay, so ready? ¿Quién está listo? Yes. Go. Okay. All right, so here we go, guys. Go. Okay, so here we go. Go. Bye, aquí vamos. Hey, I know you. You're James, right? James Roberts. Amanda? Amanda Brown? Wow, it's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, are you going to the class reunion in two weeks? Uh, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure. Where is it anyway? The reunion is going to be held at the Mountain Country Club across from Park City. Man, that's a nice place. Yeah. So, and what time does it start? I think it starts at six. And how much does it cost? You know, those reunions sometimes are really pricey. Well, it's $20 a ticket. That includes dinner and entertainment. And what kind of entertainment are they going to have? They're going to have a live jazz band in dancing. Well, I'm not interested in dancing. A jazz band? That doesn't sound bad. So, well, who's organizing the event this time? Do you remember Chad Phillips? Oh, yeah. Wasn't he the quarterback on the football team? Right, right. Well, he married Sarah Rogers. Oh. Okay. Again? Okay, thank you, Carlos Amaya. Again, guys? Please. Okay. Please. Here we go. Aquí vamos nuevamente. Hey, I know you. You're James, right? James Roberts. Amanda? Amanda Brown? Wow, it's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, are you going to the class reunion in two weeks? Uh, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure. Where is it anyway? The reunion is going to be held at the Mountain Country Club across from Park City. Man, that's a nice place. Yeah. So, and what time does it start? I think it starts at six. And how much does it cost? You know, those reunions sometimes are really pricey. Well, it's $20 a ticket. That includes dinner and entertainment. And what kind of entertainment are they going to have? They're going to have a live jazz band in dancing. Well, I'm not interested in dancing. A jazz band? That doesn't sound bad. So, well, who's organizing the event this time? Do you remember Chad Phillips? Oh, yeah. Wasn't he the quarterback on the football team? Right, right. Well, he married Sarah Rogers. Oh. Okay. Ready? For, for the last time. La última vez. Okay. Right, la última vez. Okay. Hey, I know you. You're James, right? James Roberts. Amanda? Amanda Brown? Wow, it's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, are you going to the class reunion in two weeks? Uh, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure. Where is it anyway? The reunion is going to be held at the Mountain Country Club across from Park City. 
Man, that's a nice place. Yeah. So, and what time does it start? I think it starts at six. And how much does it cost? You know, those reunions sometimes are really pricey. Well, it's twenty dollars a ticket. That includes dinner and entertainment. And what kind of entertainment are they going to have? They're going to have a live jazz band and dancing. Well, I'm not interested in dancing. A jazz band? That doesn't sound bad. So, well, who's organizing the event this time? Do you remember Chad Phillips? Oh, yeah. Wasn't he the quarterback on the football team? Right, right. Well, he married Sarah Rogers. Oh. Okay. Send your answers, okay? María sus respuestas, and let me see. Was it difficult? Es muy difícil esta, okay? And well, I can see that most of you got 100. La mayoría tuvo 100, okay? Most of you. Lo hice dos veces. <laughs> Vaya. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? No hay problema. Aquí le hemos salido, ok. Sí, la mayoría tuvo 100. Very good. All right. Ok, guys. Yes. So, let's continue, ok. And we are almost done. Ya casi vamos a terminar con la clase. Ok, so, let's see. Um, Rosibel, ask me a question. Hágame una pregunta con would like or would like to. Con esas imágenes. Um, would, would you like some bacon and eggs? Okay. Now, repeat after me and say bacon. Bacon. Yes. Bacon, okay. Bacon and eggs. What is the meaning of bacon? It's tocino. Okay, very good. Do you like bacon? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is delicious, right? Okay, so let's see. Uh, Noemi, ask a question using those images. Um... Would you like some cake? Okay. Yes, I would. Brian Alexander, ask a question. Háganos una pregunta. Uh, would you like some cake? Some eggs? Some cake. Cake. Oh, ok. Repita después de mí y diga cake. 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 Ok, yes. Cake. Ok, cake. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, of course. Ok. Um, let me see. Rosibel, would you like to go shopping? Yes, please. Would you like listening to music or would you like to listen to music, Rosibel? Yes, sure. I love, no, sure, I love to. Yes, very good. Andrea, would you like to ride a bike? Oh. Of course. Okay, Andrea, would you like to plant flowers? Oh. No, I won't. Would you like to play tennis, Andrea? No, no I, I won't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yes. Would you like to practice yoga, Andrea? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Thank you. Um, let me see. Well, I don't know if, if the other ones, I don't know if they are here or no. Okay, so um, Eunice, are you there? Yes, 
Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Eunice, would you like to do exercise? Yes, I can. Okay, would you like to surf? Well. Will you like to do exercise? Oh, yes, I would. Would you like to surf, Eunice? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay, so would you like to fish, Eunice? Yes, of course. And would you like to skate, Eunice? Skate. Skate. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. And Eunice, would you like to write a motto? Yes. I would. Okay, and would you like to play drums, Eunice? Uh, sorry, I can't. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, guys. Now, guys, do not forget, please, to complete the platform. Que no se le olvide la plataforma. Aquí um, veo... Básicamente que bastantes de ustedes no hemos completado eh, la unidad 3 todavía. Hay algunos que no la han completado la unidad 3. Okay. Y tampoco el examen midterm no lo han completado. Y eso tendría que haber estado hecho la semana pasada. Recuerde que el jueves es el último día para completar lo de la plataforma. Quiere decir pasado mañana. Ok. Y es, es bastante lo de la plataforma. Para los que no lo han completado todavía, es, es bastante práctica la que tienen que hacer. Eh, so, let me see. Eunice, ¿se puede quedar ahora para el feedback? Yes, yeah, okay. Okay. Eh, Marlon, please stay. También usted, Marlon. Please stay. Then the other ones, you may go, guys. You may go ahead and rest, okay? Descanse. Go ahead and sleep, okay? Have a good Thank night. you. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Rosibel. Good night. Um, good night. Good night, Carlos Amaya. Good night. Um, Marlon, ¿pudo, ¿pudo acceder a la plataforma? Teacher, disculpe. No, no, no he podido hacerlo. Este, no tiene que pasar mañana sin que complete eso. Yes, voy a, no. voy a pedir permiso, voy a pedir permiso porque si no, no, no voy a poder realizarlo. Así que voy a pedir permiso en el trabajo para tener el tiempo para realizarlo. Ok. Yes, Marlon, para que no le vaya a afectar, porque está bien la asistencia y todo y por la plataforma, ¿verdad? No le vaya a afectar eso. Gracias, teacher. Bye. Ok, I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you, Marlon. Ok, go ahead and, and, okay. and rest. Descanse. Thank you. All right, bye. thank you. Bye bye. Um, ok, Eunice. Me escucha. Yes. yes. Bye. Ok, um, let's see, Eunice. Ese espacio básicamente es para tener un feedback, ¿verdad? Eh, básicamente quiero hacerle algunas preguntas. Eh, primeramente, pues, eh, hacerle la pregunta si había estudiado inglés antes. Eh, sí, quizá. Ok. Eh, veamos, con nuestras clases, ¿cómo se ha sentido, Eunice? ¿Cómo se ha sentido con la dinámica de la clase? ¿Cómo se ha sentido con las actividades que hemos hecho? con las prácticas, con sus compañeros. Quiero que me dé un feedback general de cómo se ha sentido durante este mes, que casi lo terminamos. Me ha gustado mucho. Me, gusta, me ha gustado cómo da la clase a usted también. Bastante dinámica y hace que mantengamos la atención en la, en la clase y en las actividades. Ok. Ok. Bye. Um, en ese caso... ¿Con la plataforma, Eunice? ¿Ha tenido alguna dificultad? No, no, teacher. Fíjese que tenía dudas porque uh -huh. este, 
digamos, como que uno va viendo los videos, pero después como que cambian y van saliendo los videos de la clase. Porque ahorita yo ya completé todos los ejercicios de la, de la unidad 3. Uh -huh. y ahorita ya voy por la unidad 4, pero yo no sé si me salen completos todos o no sé. Porque a veces el chequecito no me sale en los videos. Ah, ok. Vale. En ese momento voy a verificar. Déjeme ver su plataforma, o sea, su progreso, ¿verdad? Mm. Déjeme ver. Sí. Fíjese de que eh, aquí me parece que solo ha terminado eh, la unidad 1. Uh -huh. es que me salen los videos de las dos horas ¿sí? o sea en cada uno de los videos vaya, me aparecen los, los quiz uh -huh. después me aparece el video de la clase de dos horas después me aparece otro quiz yo hago los quiz pero no voy a ver todo el video de la clase otra vez uh -huh. entonces entonces y me salen o sea las dos horas ¿sí? no sé por qué será porque ahorita ya todos, digamos, los, todas las, las preguntas y todos los cuestionarios que me aparecen de las tres uh -huh. en unidades, incluso ya voy hasta por el cuarto. Eh, sí, ya los completé, pero los videos no me aparece cheque. Y cree que me puede mandar como una fotografía para yo reportar lo que usted sí ha hecho las, las actividades. Es que eh, en realidad no sé qué estaría pasando, Eunice. Uh -huh. Ajá, porque eh, sale que no ha, no ha completado básicamente ninguna unidad, pues solamente Ajá, la primera. Sí. Uh -huh. mm. Voy a tomarle una captura y se la mandaré. Sí, para que yo pueda preguntar, ¿verdad? Y en este caso, cuando se terminan los, los, eh, los ejercicios, le salen cheques que ya completó. Sí, sí, de, la, de, los, de, las, de los quiz, sí, uh -huh. pero no me sale el chequecito verde en los videos. En Eso los es videos. lo único. Y si Ajá. lo que hace es darle play al video y adelantarlo hasta que llegue al le final. Doy. Ah, bueno, eso no lo he probado, voy a probar. Uh -huh. y, y adelántelo hasta que ya vaya como en el, finalizando, ya que solo falten segundos, que se complete, como que lo ha reproducido. Uh -huh. Tal vez de esa manera lo, lo, lo hace como que ya terminó todo, ¿verdad? Pero en sí no tendría que darle inconveniente, fíjense, Eunice. Bien raro. Sí, bueno, le mandaríamos entonces una captura. Uh -huh. Sí, vaya. Sí, porque por lo menos los ejercicios de Good, de uh -huh. Good, eso ya los completé. Uh -huh, pero sale que no. Ay, no. Bueno, sí. entonces le mando captura y espero que se solucione. O voy a intentar este, hacer lo que usted me dice, adelantar el video de dos horas para ver si me aparece el tequecito. Va. Intente eso primero. Si después de usted hacer eso, ¿verdad? adelantar el video y todo, no le aparece el chequecito ni nada, me dice. ¿Ok? Pero si le okay. aparece el chequecito, uh, trate de hacerlos así todo, ¿verdad? Para que le vaya saliendo como el progreso. Porque sí, ajá, para que no se vaya a retrasar. Y si es problema de la plataforma en sí, entonces hay que reportarlo porque usted ha hecho los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Así es. Ok. okay. Eh, bien, Eunice. Entonces, bueno, mi feedback para usted, ¿verdad? Principalmente es que en ocasiones, tal vez por, um, uh, creería yo, Eunice, que es básicamente porque a veces la conexión está mala que usted no enciende su cámara, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, a veces sí, o a veces que estoy trabajando, tío. Ah, ok. Sí, porque casi, o sea, sí la veo, fíjese, sí la veo ahí que tiene la cámara encendida y todo, pero a veces... Eh, no, no, eh, no la he escuchado muy, um, muy participativa, ¿verdad? En ocasiones sí no la he escuchado participativa y yo digo quizás por el internet, porque a veces usted ha tratado de participar y el internet se le va o, o se escucha bien tardado, ¿verdad? Y todo eso. Sin embargo, pues considero de que eh, cuando usted ha podido participar lo hace, ¿verdad? E incluso con problemas de internet, pero siempre lo ha hecho. 
Así que pues por, ese, por esa parte eh, la felicito ya que cuando está en la clase pues siempre está eh, pendiente, ¿verdad? está enfocada, está eh, realizando los ejercicios que hacemos, etc. Eh, por esa parte pues la felicito bastante. Eh, motivar la verdad que siga con, con el curso, que siga aprendiendo el idioma para que usted pueda eh, lograr pues su meta. En este caso uno dice, eh, ¿cuál es su objetivo al estudiar el idioma? Eh, aprenderlo. Uh -huh. okay. Mi objetivo es porque, este, digamos, yo trabajo en auditoría y casi toda la metodología está 100% en inglés. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces tiene que, más que todo, por su trabajo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Vale. Sí, en este caso, pues, invitar, la verdad, que, a que continúe con el idioma y que, eh, pues, eh, en las próximas clases, ¿verdad?, tal vez eh, mostrarse un poquito más participativa. Sin embargo, como le digo, ha tenido un muy buen desempeño, ¿verdad?, en mis clases, um, súper buen desempeño, cuando ha estado tal vez ocupada, es donde no la vemos casi, pero yo la he visto bastantes veces con su cámara activa, ¿ok?, Um, en este caso, ¿tiene alguna pregunta de algún tema que a usted no le quede claro, Eunice? No, por el momento no. Ok, entonces, bueno, eso es básicamente lo que le quería preguntar, ¿verdad? Acerca de las clases y cómo se sentía con todo este mes que hemos estado en clases. Um, lo otro, pues, con lo de la plataforma, que espero yo que esa sea como el, el, la solución, ¿verdad? Y si no es esa la solución, sí, sí me haga saber el día de mañana. Eh, para que yo pueda reportarlo ¿verdad? y no tengamos inconveniente ya el día viernes que terminemos. Ajá. De acuerdo, Tita. Ok, vaya. Sí. Entonces, muchas gracias, ok, por su responsabilidad. And I'll see you back tomorrow. Ok, have a good night. Descansa. Good night. Gracias. Ok.